Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guy video on unboxing the Casio ClassPad 2 FX CP400. So you can see I've got the ClassPad here waiting to be unboxed. Now I recorded this a couple of weeks ago uh, and unfortunately I forgot to record the sound. I hadn't got the sound set up correctly when I was doing it so I've had to overdub it. Unfortunately you can only unbox things once. So I've got the, the visual footage but never mind. So let's take a look. We've got the front of the class pad here. Looks very neat in this blister pack and on the reverse there we've got some visuals of the sort of things that you can produce on the screens there. Features and the accessories that are included but we're going to have a look at those so let's see if we can get it now I don't know about you but I find these blister packs really difficult to get into so I'm going to speed this little bit up here while I'm cutting my way in there we go and we have class pad released and you can see that there's a cover screen there so let's just take that away and let's have a look at the contents first. Obviously, we've got the class pad. We have a USB connection cable. So that would be to connect it to the computer, any additional software, any updates and things can be done via that. We have this secondary cable here. Now, I believe this can be attached to a scientific device or something that um, collaborates with a scientific device called the Econ which enables you to get data from scientific experiments and similar. I, mean, I don't have that myself. Maybe if you have that, you can comment on whether that's worthwhile or not, but that's the cable to connect for that. What else do we have? We have batteries. Now, I'm not going to put these batteries in. I'm going to put some different batteries in. I'm going to show you in a separate video the batteries that I'm going to use in the class pad because they're rechargeable batteries, but I probably will just put them in just to switch the class pad on for you, just to show you uh, what it looks like on the opening screen and things. Let's have a look at what else you get. You get two quick start guides here, one in English and then one in other languages. And then there's the little slip here that you get with the information, the warranty and stuff. I'm just going to give the screen a quick polish. So let's have a look at the uh, class pad. So if we release this little tape at the top, we can actually then uncouple the class pad lid and the class pad itself. It's fairly lightweight, not too heavy, although it is obviously a little bit bigger than a standard calculator. It's worth mentioning that the class pad is not really a calculator as such. It's actually a CAS, a computer algebraic system. So a lot more complex than a calculator itself. It can do a lot more things, including symbolic algebra. So obviously that excludes it from a number of exams where you're not allowed calculators that can do algebra. You've got to learn how to do that yourself and such. Right, so let's just show you. I'm just going to put these batteries in temporarily just to show you what's going on when you boot it up. So there's a little unlock here that you can disconnect the battery cover lift that off and you've got a place for four batteries here it's four triple a batteries that the class pad runs off so let's just insert these in here and then the screens automatically come on it says use the stylus to touch the corners of each cross in the screen now I presume this is some sort of calibration feature now the class pad does come with a stylus it is located at the top here in a handy little insert. You can just pop it out. And here we've got the stylus that we can use to control the screen. So I'm just going to just calibrate it there with the four crosses. It's asking me what language I want. I'm going to select English and what keyboard layout. So I'm going to select QWERTY. And it's asking me what type of batteries here. These were alkaline batteries that were, were given in there. So I'm going to select that, but I'll show you what to do when you've got a different set when you've got rechargeable batteries in in another video and then there's just a warning on the estimated performance or the estimated duration of the battery life is you need to make sure that you select the correct type of battery that you're using in order to get an accurate estimation of how much battery power you've got remaining and then we're at the menu screen so there we go and then we're ready to go and use the class pad 2 for all its different features and functions there we go, I hope you've enjoyed the unboxing and I'll see you on a secondary video where I just swap out the batteries for some rechargeable batteries just to get that longevity and continued use out of it. But that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.